Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're gonna be diving into what the Pyro Traveler could look like. With the recent introduction of Natlan, everyone is eager to know what the Pyro Traveler is going to do. In this video we will be speculating on their abilities, builds and potential team comps. Before we get into it, please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps me make more videos for you all. Now let's get right into it. Throughout the history of Genshin, Pyro has been known for high damage and powerful reactions like Vaporize and Melt. Pyro Traveler could have skills that take advantage of Pyro related reactions or even above them, making them a potential DPS or sub DPS character. So far Bennett has been dominating over the support and buffer role since the release of the game, so Traveler might even finally replace him as a support or at least be a competitive option over him. Traveler's skill and burst change based on the element they resonate with, and usually they represent the element or their Archon. Since we don't know what the Pyro Archon Mawika's abilities will be like, we can't really say for sure, but based on prior elements, we can say that the Pyro Traveler will likely have some sort of off-field Pyro application, maybe in the form of a flame pillar that continuously deals damage and applies Pyro, kinda like Dia's skill. The elemental burst could have a massive wave of fire or an explosion that deals AoE pyro damage similar to how Dendro Traveler's burst explodes when it comes into contact with pyro. Maybe it could also apply some sort of special burning effect on the enemies for even more pyro application. Now let's move on to the ascension passives. Ascension 1. Increases the damage of the elemental burst by a percentage of your attack. Maximum increase is 50%. This would provide a nice damage bonus to the Traveler's Burst. Ascension 4. When the Pyro Traveler triggers an elemental reaction involving Pyro, their elemental mastery is increased by 80 for 10 seconds. This would increase Pyro Traveler's reaction damage, making them viable in reaction teams. If the Pyro Traveler ends up being a DPS, then a set like the Crimson Witch of Flames will likely be the best as it increases Pyro damage and the damage of Pyro reactions. But if the Traveler has the Night Soul Blessing state, then the Obsidian Codex would be the best DPS set for him. However, if the Pyro Traveler ends up being a support or a sub DPS, then the Scroll of the Hero of Cinder City would hands down be the best artifact set, providing a whopping 40% elemental damage for the elements involved in a reaction that the wearer procs. And if he doesn't end up having a Night Soul Blessing state, then the Emblem of Severed Fate or Tenacity of the Millilith would be fine options as well. This all depends on the Pyro application of Traveler, but they could be slotted into many Vaporize and Melt team comps, but also in some Dendro and Mono Pyro teams as well. Even though the Pyro Traveler may be a rival to Bennett, he still might be best used in certain teams involving Bennett. Just as Bennett would say, Teamwork is dream work! Each element's Traveler has a set of 6 constellations that progressively increase their power or utility. These constellations often enhance elemental skills or bursts, buff team members, increase energy regeneration. Now let's talk about what the Pyro Traveler's constellations could offer. C1 increases the damage of Pyro Traveler's elemental skill by 20%. Additionally, the AoE of the attack is increased. This would help Traveler apply Pyro in a wider area and more consistently. C2. After the explosion of the Pyro Traveler's elemental burst, create a lingering field that burns the enemies every 2 seconds dealing Pyro damage. This would make the Traveler apply even more Pyro for reactions. C3. Increase the elemental skill level by 3. This is just a standard skill level increase. C4. Every hit of the elemental skill reduces the Pyro resistance of enemies by 10%, up to 3 stacks for 10 seconds. Now this would be a very good support constellation to provide Pyro Resistance Shred off-field. C5 increases the elemental burst level by 3. This is again just a standard burst level increase. C6. Upon using the elemental skill, the Pyro Traveler gains a Pyro Infusion and his normal and charge attacks gain a 20% damage bonus. Additionally, at the end of his normal attack string, unleash a Pyro Explosion dealing AoE Pyro damage. Similar to the Overlord reaction, the Pyro Traveler would have an explosion at the end of every normal attack string, giving him even more damage for a main DPS playstyle. Alright, that brings us to the end of our speculation on what the Pyro Traveler and their constellations could look like. From enhanced Pyro reactions to potential buffs for your team, the Pyro Traveler is shaping up to be an exciting addition to the game. Whether they're a decent DPS or a versatile support character, their unique skill set is sure to bring some serious heat to the game. 
get it. But of course, this is all just speculation for now. What do you guys think? Will the Pirate Traveler be more focused on damage or could we see some interesting utility and support roles from them? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Genshin content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one!